following presentation of the NBA. And those will be our starters. Some intriguing matchups on the floor tonight. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello and welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports this Tuesday. A look at the starting group for the Pelicans. We've got Brandon Ingram. Terry Rozier is out there with Joe Harris. Then it's Toppin and it's Hunter in at center. And for Cleveland, we've got Kevin Love. Evan Mobley out there with LeBron James. Then there's Mitchell, and it's Price in at the point. Grant, both defenses will have their work cut out for them here against these two high-powered offenses. Get your popcorn ready. There should be a ton of scoring, but I'm also looking to see which team can bring the most intensity on defense. In the end, Brandon, that yeah. will be the deciding Brandon. factor in this one. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Here's Price. Rebounded by New Orleans. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. Well, last year they swept the season series. There was a talent differential between the two teams. We'll see if that gap has narrowed. Yeah, these teams were not on even ground last year, but no matter what it looks like on paper, we see teams make big turnarounds every season. Hunter can't get it to go. And so it's Mobley with it. He brings it up for the Cavaliers. Six-point game. Mitchell, the pass to Price. Back to Mitchell. Six to shoot. Hunter with the rebound. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Back to Rozier. Pass to Toppin. Over Mobley. Mobley grabs the board. Oh, wow. This close, you got to finish strongly. You can't give yourself room for a mistake like that. James blocked. Now here's Hunter. Here he goes. And that one is hammered home. An excellent job of reading the defense. As Ingram's court vision continues to improve, so will his playmaking. Pass to Mitchell, and it's out of bounds to Cleveland. And this is a player who's been giving his all. Our Eastern Conference Player of the Week. He's a great example of what a modern big looks like. He's so much more than just a big in the paint. And that versatility is a big part of what makes him such an outstanding player. And you want to talk about a catalyst. Donovan Mitchell just makes things happen, Richard. Yeah, he can put a team on his back. He's been doing that since the moment he came into this league. It's his leadership, his play, and most importantly, his availability. He is one of the best two guards in this league. That free throw is good for Mitchell. We've seen Donovan Mitchell go off. He's gone for 70-plus in a game. That is special. Here's Rozier. Mobley grabs the board. We've got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Oh, for four to start things off. Got a bit of a pillow fight brewing here, but they're going to get it going. Hunter. Mobley with the block. Hard to protect your shot from Mobley's length. Look, he just bats that ball away. Price, the pass to Mobley. Here's James. And that one's on target from the wing. Well, it took them five tries, but they showed they can make a basket, I guess. Pass to Harris. Now Toppin, covered by Mobley. And it's good. Fought through good contact. Move. Hit the shot and will go Shot's to good. the line. Good. Shooting one. Shooting for New Orleans. Obi Toppin at the line for one. The free throw is off from Toppin. The Cavaliers have gone one of five to start things off. Oh, Harris with the block. Here's Ingram. And another basket for New Orleans. With his length, Ingram can shoot over defenders. Cleveland calls timeout. They want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. <laughs> it was a lockdown effort defensively. Contesting shots and really protecting the painted area. They were very disciplined on that end of the floor, staying attached to shooters and disrupting plays with their active hands. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. They trail by nine. Hey, it's James slamming it down. Three. 
the fact that LeBron James can still do that at 100 years old, like, it's a travesty that he never participated in the dunk contest. And that one's good. Ingram. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Ingram against James. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter Brandon that shot. Ingram. Controls the rebound and the putback. Off to a great start. Five straight from the field. Two minutes remaining. Pass to Price. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. High IQ pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. Outside for Ingram. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. James with the ball. And it's Ingram picking him up. Here's Toppin. Rozier, the pass to Toppin. Now Hunter. Oh, okay, oh, look wow. out. Man. Wow. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Here's Ingram following the score by Cleveland. Pass to Hunter. Over Love. Hunter, good. Hunter's got six points. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Throws it up high. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Donovan Mitchell. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Rozier outside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's James. Here's Love. He can't get that one to fall. Excellent D there from Toppin. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Outside for Rozier. And here's Ingram from the arc. Fires in the triple. 16 points for him. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. We'll see if they can keep this pace. Not sure they can win it by relying on just the three. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more Brandon often Ingram. than not. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans up 15 points as this quarter concludes. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. you back to second quarter action plenty of basketball left to play but this one has been one-sided so far and a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the pelicans well so far their long-range shooting has been the story doing damage from deep another thing that's gone well for them is the mid-range jumper <laughs> it's been falling with ease kevin so Knox far kevin mobley out there with kevin love then there's Doug McDermott. Then it's Darius Garland. And it's James in at the three. Small forward. That's the group for Cleveland getting going in the second. McDermott, the pass to Love. Over Hunter. Offensive board. Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. And you can't let Mobley roam free on the offensive glass. This is how you get burned. Harris' shot is good. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. He gets it in there. And it's Rozier with the ball for the Pelicans. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. They were lights out from beyond the arc, and they spaced the floor beautifully in that one. Tough to keep the consistency from deep, but they did it last time. 
Cleveland ball. And time for us to look in at the best three-point shooting teams in the second half of the season. The Pelicans, number one. In third, the Cavaliers. Since midseason, we've seen fireworks from both clubs. But what really stands out is their accuracy from deep. James, outside. Over Sharp. And that one's long. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Ryan Evan Mobley still is just scratching the surface, but already he is making his mark in the most important way. Coach Bickerstaff said he's a winner. Fourth quarter's big moments. He just finds a way to help finish ball games and to make the play. Evan just makes the right play to help us win, he said. Brian? Well, no doubt. He's a star on the rise, Allie. Thanks for that. And we move towards the back end of the season, Richard. How much is this part of the year a game of attrition? Oh, nobody is healthy right now. That's just a part of it. That's why depth matters so much. Plus, your mental toughness is tested to a max right now. Oh, nothing soft time about out, that. Out. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MOB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. Cleveland calls timeout. Show them some love, fans. That was your Cleveland Pass Mini. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Proving how coachable he is. Mobley, this man is building a pretty decent passing game. Pass to Harris. And it goes out of bounds. That one off sharp. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the New Orleans Pelicans. On Wednesday, they'll be playing against Devin Booker. And then on Thursday, they head out on the road to face the Kings in Sacramento. Some might look at this schedule and already mark off how many wins they'll get. But I think that's a mistake. You can never take a night off in the NBA. Even the ones you think will be easy are tough. And you know, Richie, for his age, Evan Mobley's defensive instincts are off the charts. He plays the passing lanes well. He's always in the right position. And with that length and athleticism, he has a chance to be an all-time great defender. When you're talking about Mobley, where do you start? In terms of length, skill. Skill set. He's got a great offensive skill set, and he's got a great defensive skill set. This man has the old school grit and grind mentality. And just an incredible effort on the offensive glass. Wow, follows it up with the put back to finish the play. Shoots from the line, and that's an air ball. Not even close. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. He drops it from range. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. McDermott can't get it to go. The defense really made this an uphill battle, and he just couldn't get there. Here's Knox. Off target from three-point range. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. The shot's good. Sharp's got his second bucket on the night. For Cleveland, they've gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. And he lobs it up to the rim! Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Some solid defense from James. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. Offensive rebound. And it's Love missing. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Hits the trifecta. Harris. Harris has got six points. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Garland for three. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. Hitting them right back. Garland fires off the three-point answer. Harris outside. Here's Knox. Love grabs the miss. Love's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Hunter can't get it to go. And James has got the ball here for the Cavaliers. It's an 18-point game. To the inside. And Love with the basket on the assist from James. James has got five assists tonight. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Yep, count it. Hunter's got nine points now in the quarter. 
and he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher, and his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone Move until forward. someone stops him, just let him roll. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Rozier, the pass to Sharp. And another one falls for New Orleans. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Pass to Mobley. Three-pointer. The shot off that time. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans. Feeling confident. 18-point lead to win that quarter. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. What a start it was for Brandon Ingram. He had 18 points, two rebounds, and one assist. Kenny, your thoughts, how the Pelicans are playing. They had a tremendous first half from the three-point line. Their shot selection was pretty sound, considering how many threes they took. And the confidence of the shooters, <laughs> now that's outstanding. Shaq. How do you think Cleveland plays? It's their defense that's put them in this spot. Giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have even a, a game plan in place. Check out the field goal points that they've allowed. Oh, that's not going to cut it anymore. I don't even want to talk about it no more. <sighs> and it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Boy, this has been one outstanding game from Brandon Ingram. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. So the Pelicans five right now. Brandon Ingram out there with Mitchell Robinson. And then it's Landry Shamit and it's Hunter in at the five. Here's Exum. Robinson on the wing. Here's Shamit. And another three for New Orleans. Three. Just a smooth operator from distance. They'll be tighter to him next time, I bet. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture at an NBA organization. Ooh, B.A. Culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys, having strong leadership. And, of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. Shamit passes to Exum. Hunter with the ball. Covered by Love with the 10-footer. And the Pelicans get another bucket right there. He's earning his keep offensively, a key part of their winning effort at this point. Here's Love. Oh, here's Love with the jam. Uh, you cannot let Kevin Love get positioned like that. He is too good on the glass. Exum passes to Hunter. Over Love, and another one falls for New Orleans. He has been a key factor for them offensively, scoring with consistency. Price, the pass to Mitchell, and Mitchell with the slam. Now look, Mitchell has that rare combination of lightning and thunder. Like he will blow by you quick, fast, and he will finish over your bid. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, the Cavaliers are one of the best young teams in the league, and it's up to their point guard, Darius Garland, to help distribute. He said, quote, we have so much talent on the floor. I just try to get my big fellows the ball so they can stay active and work for us on the defensive end as well. That's the game within the game right there, Brian. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. 
Here's Price. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And in deciding against lowering the minimum age for the NBA draft, Grant, you think it's fair to 17 and 18-year-olds who want to go pro? You know, B.A., I do think it's fair. I mean, there are other avenues in today's basketball environment where compensation for these guys is possible. You have the overseas route. You have the G League Ignite. And, of course, now colleges have the NIL, so that's huge. For three, Robinson. The Cavaliers pull it in. Love's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to James. And here's Love. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram's got four rebounds now. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. And we have a second to check out who's atop the NBA scoring-wise. Dante Exum. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Allen's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. And the Cavaliers call time here. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan, and everything falls into place for a team. And let's take a look now at some numbers for him. Allen, the pass to Mobley. Fires high post. And there's James on the assist by Mobley. James has got eight. A real threat from the in-between area. LeBron wastes no time firing when he gets to that spot. Shamit knocks down the triple. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. Cleveland has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Price, the pass to Allen. The ball's knocked loose. Here's the break. Here's Hunter. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Hunter. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Outside Mitchell. Out to Mobley. From about 16, Pelicans cleared away. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And the foul goes against Cleveland. Yeah, hard-nosed play from Ingram. Getting in tight and forcing the defender into a mistake. And the Cavaliers making a change here. That free throw, good from Ingram. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. To end the run. Yep, that one goes. He's got seven. This man has a real crafty handle. Garland, I, I bet he surprises himself sometimes with his moves. Well, to be in the NBA, you have to believe you belong here. No shortage Mitchell of belief in Darius Garland, RJ. Yeah, no, he's Dante been that Jackson. way since day one. He believes he has all the moves, all the shots. And look, that leads him to perform better. It's that confidence. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Jay passes to Mitchell. Allen against Hunter. Robinson with the block. To the middle. Hunter passes to Exum. Here's Robinson. Shoots over Allen. The rebound by Allen. 35 seconds left in the third. Pass to Garland. And he's going for the lob. And it's Allen who slams it home. Making full use of that reach. Allen able to pluck the ball out of the air for that easy lob. And that one's good. Ingram. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. He's done everything he can tonight, trying to keep this team competitive. Here's Ingram. 
And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Padding the stat sheet. Getting the board and the hoop all on one play. Yep, he's earning his coach's appreciation. Ooh, Loading up to stop Mitchell can lead to big breakdowns defensively. And so it's New Orleans cruising into the next quarter with a 30-point advantage. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead. Back to the game after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page, woo! And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Donovan Mitchell... Also, Doug McDermott out there, and it's Jang in at the three. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Despite his relatively quiet night, they are still winning, and that just shows this team is more than just about one guy. McDermott, the pass to Mitchell. Mitchell, double team. And a bit of a battle for the ball, and the officials signal a jump ball here. Grant, you had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star, but tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, B.A., it's very fascinating. The, the main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams, I do believe ownership okay. groups should involve ex-players and listen to us, you know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately heading. Here's Jang, covered by Ingram. Jang passes to Allen. Oh, blocked by Ingram! I know they love to see Ingram make big plays on defense, and that's the energy they want from him. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Oh, what a play. Just palms the block. Outside Mitchell. Pass to McDermott. Five to shoot. And another miss by Cleveland. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. And that one's good. Ingram. He's just lighting them up in this game. The D's going to have to extend a little bit more, or he's going to keep knocking them down from deep. Mitchell uses the glass to finish the layup. It's not an easy shot. There's definite contact, but somehow Mitchell keeps it on target. Here's Shamit. The offensive rebound. Here's Robinson, and a big finish by Robinson. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Here's Mitchell. He blocks it again. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. And here's Ingram from the arc. And there's the lob. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Shamit connects from downtown. Shamit's got 11 in the second half. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for New Orleans. Great heads-up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And also, attacking in transition has been working for them. I mean, credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Tipped away. Back to Mitchell. McDermott outside. Shot clock at five. From deep. On the wing, Mitchell. Second shot opportunity, and he hits the jumper. Right now, this is what you want to see. Mitchell playing without hesitation and just taking quality shots. Here's Robinson, and another Mitchell one Robinson. falls for New Orleans. 
why fade away there? Just making the shot more difficult, if you have to ask me. Chang passes to Mitchell. The Pelicans pull it in. Pass to Ingram. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Greg? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before. And these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavs. Darius Garland comes in for Donovan Mitchell. Garland for three. Can't get it to go. He's made four of his eight attempts. New Orleans has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Pelicans. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And the wins have been piling up for them. Tonight will be their 58th of the year. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for the baddest one. And what effort he had on the board, displaying some great fight, willing to battle down low. Brandon. Buries it from three. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. McDermott can't get it to go. Here's New Orleans now. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, look, when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. And so it's the Pelicans taking care of business in this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Brandon, hot shooting for you tonight. Where do you get that confidence level to take over like this? Uh, Coming in, working on my routine every single day. Uh, I think my teammates put me in a really, really good position to uh, step in the shots and give me confidence on the basketball floor to shoot the ball and also give them the basketball to do whatever they want on the floor to create and make something happen. So confidence comes from my teammates. And you've been a great teammate as well. Guys, back to you. All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Like we do, I see all the